Hello, it's Ash and welcome to day six of this Balance Boost for Better Runs Challenge. This might feel like the most challenging session of the seven day challenge. So if it does and it gets you a little bit out of, out of breath and some of the jumps and the hops find a little bit challenging, just take a little bit of a rest and don't do them as intensely. So just to have, have your water or your drink by you and just take a few more rests if you need to. Okay, so what we're gonna do, the first exercise, I'm gonna show you the first exercise and then we're gonna make a start on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our feet underneath our hips. And then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna hop our left foot into the middle. And as, this, as we do that, we're gonna drive the right knee. Then from this position, we're gonna hop the feet back out to hip width distance apart. So it looks like this. So there is coordination involved in that. So again, coordination is absolutely essential for good running folk because when our brain can coordinate our body parts through time and space and it can do it better, our running is much smoother and more efficient. So one last time, feet wide, hop your foot into the middle, drive your knee. Okay, so right knee drives as you hop your left foot into the middle. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds on each side. Get ready, three, two, one, and let's go. Little tap on the feet as you're stepping back out and then drive back into the middle. Try and land on the balls of the feet every time so you're nice and light. Have a little bit of a smile. Trying to catch the balance at the top and pause with it, 10 seconds, well done. Use the arms however it feels natural to do that. Well done, three, two, one and time. Well done, shake it out. So can you feel the calf muscles and the, the toes and everything working in the lower leg there? Well done, okay, so just have a little go on this side. So just get the coordination, feet wide, hop the right foot in, drive the left knee, back out. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. So this side feels so much more coordinated for me. It's my dominant side. How about you? Keep breathing. Again, it's not a hit workout, so we're not doing it too fast. We're getting the balance at the top every time. Last five seconds is coming up, well done. Three, two, one, and time. Shake it out, well done. How was that? Did it get your heart rate up a little bit? Again, if it did, that's not a bad thing. That's a really good positive thing. It keeps your heart strong and healthy. Okay, so the next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do hops and trying to catch. We're hopping from one leg. You can go around the space you're in or around the mat. Every time we're gonna try and just hop at roughly around a meter and then we're changing directions. Try and challenge your balance. Try and catch it every time. And try and play about with, don't just go the same way and make it really easy every time. Change the direction, go left, go right, challenge your balance. We're gonna go for a minute. Okay, get ready, three, two, one, and let's go. So, big jump, catch, big jump, catch. I'm gonna go backwards and challenge myself. Sidewards, caught on the diagonal. So really try and mix it up. Don't go in the same directions. Really test your balance. Keep your knees bent every time. Try and get a good distance. Breathe. Coming up to the last 30 seconds. Again, you can just go a little bit slower if you need to rest. Embrace the challenge of this. And try and land really light on the balls of the feet, then the heel kisses down. Exactly like our running form. Well done, last 10 seconds, you're doing really well. Come on, keep this going. Challenge yourself. Three, two, one, and time, well done. Shake it out. Okay, so have a breather, get a drink if you need to whilst I show the next exercise. This time, we're adding in an extra layer of challenge to this. So as we hop, if I land on my left foot, we're gonna try and coordinate this movement again. I'm gonna to touch towards the floor with my right hand. You don't have to touch the floor, but as I jump onto my right foot, I'm gonna try and touch towards the floor with my left hand. If you can touch the floor, perfect. Oh, let's not say perfect, let's say brilliant. I always say that to my children, home to my girls. Don't say perfect, there's no such thing as perfect. 
So onto the left foot, right hand touches, onto the right foot, left hand touches. If you can't because of flexibility issues or balance issues, just touch towards the floor, okay? So a minute, get ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. So you're catching your balance, trying to stay stable. So it's not about how many hops we get, it's about trying to catch the balance and stay balanced as you get all of that movement through the body and then you've got to move towards the floor. So it's a really good balance challenge. Breathe. Again, have fun with it, be playful, duck. Get in your own head and be negative about it. If you're finding it difficult, again, you can keep coming back to this. Oh, I missed one. Nearly there. Last 10 seconds is coming up, well done. So. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Well done, shake your body, shake your arms, shake your legs, get some of that heat and tension out. Focus back on those good breaths. So in and out through the nose if you can, help your recovery. Okay, I'll show you the next exercise while we get ready. Okay, so next exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand onto one foot. So standing onto the left foot, I'm gonna bring the right foot up off the floor, and then I'm gonna try and elevate my left heel as high up off the floor as I can, and then bring it back down. High up as I can, and then bring it back down, okay? So you're gonna stay on the same leg for 30 seconds. So really getting big toes pushing into the floor, getting the arch strong, and then also getting into the lower leg. Get ready, 30 seconds on the left, three, two, one, and let's go. So stand on the left foot, elevate the heel, and then slowly bring it back down. Again, breathe. Well done, it is a good challenge this one. As you can tell, I've gone quiet. <laughs> So last five seconds coming up, well done. Three, two, one, and time. Well done, shake it out. Could you feel the burn? Okay, we're gonna notice the difference again in our left and right sides. I know for a fact that my right side's gonna be stronger. Okay, so stand into the right foot, make a good connection. I'm gonna bring the left foot up off the floor. 30 seconds, three, two, one, and let's go. Elevate the right heel up, Ooh, and then bring it slowly back down. Push into the big toe. Try and go nice and smooth up, nice and smooth down. Relax the shoulders and the jaw because that can start to tense as you're really focusing. Every rep doesn't have to be, and again, perfect. Ah, touch the floor. Five seconds. I'm stronger on the side, but I looked at my watch and time. Well done. Good work, have a little bit of a shake out. How was that? Could you notice the difference between left and right? Well done. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna go into airplane arms. So arms into a T position. We're gonna stand into the left foot and then we're gonna kick that right heel back and then we're gonna go come down into an airplane shape. Keep that left knee bent wherever you feel like is the edge of your limit and then come back up. Don't touch the right foot down if you can. If you need to, you can touch the right foot down, but try not to. Okay, so you come into aeroplane and then smoothly back up, doing reps with that, okay? Get ready, 30 seconds each side. Three, two, one, and let's go. Keep that right heel back like this. So the right heel is like the tail of the aeroplane. Keep breathing. As we do this, go nice and slow. Ooh. When your mind wanders, your body wobbles. Nearly there, three, two, one, and time. Pedal it out, well done. Okay, last one on day six. Good work, well done. Okay, so into that right foot, arms into T position, get ready. Three, two, one, and let's go. So 
So I can notice straight away I'm much more stable on this side. Can you notice the difference? Which side's stronger? So feel the big turn working to really stabilize the whole of the body. We've got last five seconds of this whole challenge today. Three, two, one, and time. Well done, that's day six complete. Woohoo, well done. So you can do a post run stretch now. You could do, you could go out and do your run or maybe you're gonna do a workout now. Whatever you're gonna do for the rest of your day. If you just give it a thumbs up, let me know how you felt in the comments or just put thanks for the video in the comments. I do greatly appreciate that. So well done for completing day six. It's day seven tomorrow, so just one more day, stick with it, and I shall see you tomorrow.